What's up guys, Harrison here. Now DJI, the global manufacturing of drones, just released a huge update about their flagship LiDAR product, the DJI Zenmu Cell 1. Now if this is your first time hearing about the DJI Zenmu Cell 1, I have several videos about this, testing the accuracy and showing what this product does right here in my hands. But in short, this is a LiDAR mapping camera that works on the DJI M300 drone. It has a laser scanner. It also has a 20 megapixel camera. That's the same camera that is available on the Phantom 4 RTK uh, ma mapping drone. And it combines both those to make 3D point clouds for surveying and mapping. Now, the reason I'm gonna call this an entry level product is because the quality of the IMU that's inside of here and their desktop software and the quality of the deliverables it provides. You're gonna get in the ballpark of five centimeters, but sometimes worse, sometimes better. You know, it kind of ranges in this area where there's other products that are gonna get you much higher accuracy LiDAR scans, and then your deliverables will be much higher accuracy. The DJI Zen Muse L1 is an entry level, but this video has nothing to do about accuracy and everything to do about what DJI has just done to change this product for you. Before we get into that, a word from our sponsors. Are you looking for a better way to process your LiDAR data? Then you should look no further than the Rock Cloud. With streamlined workflows and deliverables available in as little as one click, the Rock Cloud is a perfect solution for all your LiDAR data needs. Do you need deliverables for surveying like contours and topography? Check out the Rock Surveyor app inside the Rock Cloud. This will give you ground classified point cloud, contours, as well as digital surface models and ground control point reports for accuracy all in a single click of the button. Getting deliverables for Rock Surveyor is so easy, it's just one click. Do you need line work or CAD planimetrics? Well then Rock Planimetrics is for you. With Rock Planimetrics, just one click away, you can get 3D vector work and line work done and ready to be open in CAD software all in a single click. And now we also offer 2D planimetrics with Orthomosaics, so you can upload your two-dimensional Orthomosaics from Pix4D or Drone Deploy and get line work on that as well. The Rock Cloud offers streamlined workflows that scale with you as you grow your business. And this all attributed to the pay-as-you-grow business model. So try out the Rock Cloud today for free for 14 days with no worries and give it a go. Or once you get going, get the starter plan. For as little as $99 a month, you can have a whole portal for your data and start processing your data today. And then as you grow, get the business plan and start getting branded content on there. So that way you can share your data in a portal that's branded for your business. And then when you get really big, you get a whole enterprise, multiple pilots, and many people doing it, well, the enterprise plan's for you. Many people can share that one portal and that's got you covered on the Rock Cloud. So no matter the scale of your business, the Rock Cloud has a solution for you. And we hope you guys try it today. And with that being said, let's back to the video. All right, so that big update, that big new change that DJI just released for the DJI L1, it's the pricing. Let me bring you up to speed. They just cut the price from $14,300 down to $9,800. That is a 31% price reduction overnight on the DJI L1 LiDAR system. We're not worthy. You're worthy, you're worthy, get up. That is a massive price reduction. It's only gonna encourage people and expand this industry and get more LiDARs out into the hands of users and get more LiDAR data, and thus more people will see LiDAR data, and now more customers will know today they want LiDAR data. So it's an all around good positive feedback cycle for the industry, and we're really excited to see where this really goes for everyone. Well, we're going, we don't need roads. So this system alone that I'm holding here isn't the whole story. You still need to buy the M300 drone. This is about 14,000 maybe 15,000, and then you need a base station to collect GPS data, and the DJI DRTK2 is about 3,600, and then you need uh, their software, DJI Terra, to process the raw data into a point cloud, and this is free for the first six months, but then it goes up to $1,500 per year to use that software. And then we have post-processing software to take that point cloud data and turn it into a deliverable for surveyors or for forestry or for civil engineering. And this is what the sponsor of today's video, Rock Cloud does really well. And that's around $700 a year starting. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so all in, you're looking at around $33,000 down to $29,000. So it was 33, now it's at 29. And so now the price reduction doesn't really hold as much weight. You know, it is still a good price reduction, don't get me wrong, that's awesome. But is it going to drive the number of people to buy this product going from 33 to 29? I don't know, I, I think we'll, time will tell and maybe you have an opinion about this, leave it down in the comment below what you think. Here's a second for my, my hot takes on why is DJI doing this? What are they doing it for? And, and what's the reason to reduce the price? 
And really, I have three ideas here. So the first one is that DJI has done this before. They've reduced the price of their product because they're launching a new product that's going to compete with their own product. So maybe the DJI Zenmius L2 is in the horizon? I don't know. Mm. Mm. That is something they've done before. They've done it with thermal cameras, other drones. They reduce the price and then they introduce a competing product that's better than the one before. The second is less likely, but possible. DJI last year, they actually started going direct to consumers with their enterprise product line. So what this meant was before, you know, before last year, if you wanted to buy the DJI Matrice M200 series or any of their enterprise drones, you had to go through a distributor. And these distributors would sell and they'd be local to you and you'd buy the products through them. And that was the only way you can get them. But then last year, all of a sudden, the enterprise product line starts showing up on the, the store, the e-commerce for DJI, which then you can just start buying it directly and cut out the distributor. So my second hypothesis is this price that we're getting is actually the price that the distributor got. And now they're just going direct to consumer with enterprise. That's also a possibility. You know, I think they're just moving that way in general anyways, but uh, that's also that's also a possibility. And then the third option is that they're trying to sell out inventory because they're going to end the product line. This was a failure for DJI and it didn't work out for them. Something tells me that's the least likely of the three options. And I think it's probably the first. There's a L2 on the horizon. And uh, the second is, uh, I think it's just happening anyways. So that would be my hot take on why DJI is doing this. But either way, this just means there's going to be a lot more lighters in the market. There's going to be a lot more questions, a lot more users. And that's why these videos that I make are going to become more important to educate people how to use LiDAR and when to use it and how to make money with these systems. I'm talking about this. So I hope you guys like these videos and you like and subscribe and see more content that I'm going to be making. But also, I want you guys to be part of this conversation. And to do that, uh, we just created a Facebook group, actually. And we're all going to be contributing to this uh, Facebook group and actually giving real life, real world experience and knowledge. So if you guys want to join that Facebook group and ask questions and get the conversation going, please, I encourage you guys to do that. And the link will be right below this video so you guys can join the group and ask any questions. We're going to be doing a live stream next week, um, me and Dylan Gorman and Daniel Windham. And we're going to be talking about how we make money and how we've made money and how you can possibly make money with LiDAR systems like this. So I hope you guys go to that group and subscribe to the event and see us on there. It's going to be on Facebook Live. Uh, we will later post it here on YouTube, but it'll be there first. So go ahead and join over there. And I hope you guys like the video. And thanks for watching it today and seeing this great news from DJI. I'll see you here next time here on Indian Drones.